and welcome to the fifth and final part of Surviving to Thriving, where we dive right into facing failure. Facing failure is an inevitable part of life's journey. Our current education system often paints failure as the ultimate endpoint, discouraging us from seeing it as a stepping stone to success. But imagine if that was truly the case. So many incredible achievements from the Wright brothers' first flight to the computing power in our handheld devices would never have come to fruition. Did you know that many successful business moguls were declared bankrupt one or more times before founding hugely successful multinational companies? It is calculated that it takes a minimum of 10,000 hours of perfect practice to become a genius in something. That's not just any practice. It's about honing a skill to the point where it becomes almost second nature. If people followed the educational model of, for dealing with failure universally throughout our lives, many of us would have never learned to walk. For walking is, for one of a better phrase, an incredible feat where we actively defy gravity. For gravity is pulling us down every minute, second, and millisecond of every day. Despite this, the act of walking defies this never-ending, never-compromising force upon us. Let's consider walking for a moment. We defy gravity on our little tiny feet, balancing our entire bodies, constantly pulled down by the force of gravity. That's a monumental task. So many of us take it for granted because so many people do it every day, despite the trials and tribulations we went through to gain this skill. Most of us cannot remember what we went through to learn to walk. Parents, though, often remember the process their children went through on their walking journey. Many may have feared their children may end up with peculiar-shaped heads, following all the falls they experienced as they took their first steps. If we had followed the education system's approach to failure, it may have gone a little like this. You stand up and then you fall down. You then say, well, that didn't work. I'm gonna stick with crawling. I'm good at that. Ending our walking journey. Instead, human determination kicks in. The determination to learn and gain this new skill, despite all the falls, bumps, and potential bruises, and anything else which happens along the way. Each stumble was not a failure, it was a lesson. We discovered what maintained our balance and did not. Our first taste of the scientific process. Just like scientists who repeat experiments to understand why things work, we learn from each fall, gaining insights. We do the same with each and every stumble, fall, collision, and beyond. We have in the process of learning to walk. None of them were failures. Instead, they are lessons to learn from, gain the knowledge to walk, maybe even run, jump, and so much more. Going forward, I invite you to approach all situations from the perspective of lessons we can learn from, instead of failures which stop us or even worse, define us. When we approach from a place of learning, we embrace growth, transformation, and the ability to ascend to the heights we are made for, and the realization of our true limitless potential. There you have it. That is my approach to facing failure which I hope serves you should you ever need it. If you did find this helpful, please do like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. And should you know anyone who could benefit from this video, please share it with them. Don't forget the other Surviving to Thriving videos, should you have not seen them yet, which I hope can benefit you as much as this one. Finally, should you like to access a richer and more fulfilling life full of joy, happiness, love, and so much more, then I am proud to announce after 20 years in the making, my work, The Compass, which is now available in the form of a book as well as an online program, which you will find links to in the description below this very video. Take care of yourselves and ciao for now.